Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be taking a look at five unique text effects that you can keep in your back pocket to spice up your next video project. So, all five of these text effects are all unique from each other, meaning that you can use different ones to achieve a different style or feeling in your video. But what binds them all together is the idea that you can achieve them all inside of Premiere Pro with no third-party plugins. And even though some of them will take a little bit more time than others, you can achieve all of them with relatively little time, effort, or energy. But let's jump right into it with number one, track matte titles. So this style has a few different applications, but the basic idea is that your text will look identical to writing it out normally, except that the actual writing is using negative empty space. You've probably seen this application where you have a black screen and negative space where the video fills in the letters. It looks so cool and it's super simple. Here's the basic idea. You'll want a plain color that the text will be cut out of. So let's just create a solid color map. Then we can create a text layer with Control or Command T and place it a layer above the solid. Type what we want it to say and position it exactly where we want it to be. Imagining that when we're done, this plain text will be the stencil cutout. Now go here to your effects and choose the track matte key and drag and drop it onto the solid matte layer. Here, you're gonna need to know a little bit about your timeline specifically. Right now, I have my solid layer on layer two and my text layer is on layer three. So when we highlight our solid matte layer and go up to effect controls, we can see here that we'll be drawing from a specific layer. And that layer for me is layer three, where the text is actually located. Once you choose this, you'll see that a stencil is created, but one slight problem, it's using the white solid to basically just create a cutout, but it's opposite of what we want. That's no problem, just one last step. Go here to reverse and hit the checkbox. And boom, this is what we're going for. Now it's a transparent cutout that we can see through. And once we place some footage underneath everything, you can see that the footage is showing through. But because you had to reverse it, you might also realize that there's another way that you can get this effect. What if instead of taking a solid white, we take a video that we want the text to actually display instead of looking through the text to see the footage underneath? Let me show you what I mean. Let's take this video here of an ink cloud and place it on our timeline but not on the bottom layer, at least one layer up. Then place your text over top with no color matte at all. Then let's add the track matte effect again. And you can see we get a similar effect to what we had before, but now with a black background. So what's the difference? Well, this basically gives us a little bit more control now to add another solid matte underneath everything, where you can choose the color, but instead of choosing it to be pure white, let's take a sample of the off-white color in this video. Now we get this. Our text is showing the whole time, but it's only revealed when the footage actually changes, causing it to be revealed in a fun and interesting way. Number two, the write-on effect. This is actually a text style we used for our opening logo for years on this channel. It's a basic reveal that occurs in a way that makes it look like your text is literally being handwritten in that moment. This works for almost any type of text, but it works especially well for cursive font. The process is simple. Just create your text that you want to work with to start. Or another option is that you can use this for your logo if your logo is mostly text. Whether it's a text box or a still image with a transparent background, the process is gonna be the same. First, before you add the effect, create a transparent video layer. Do this by right-clicking in your project panel and select new item, transparent video, and place it above your text layer. Now go to your effects and search for the write on effect. And drag and drop it onto the transparent video layer that you're working with. Cool. Now you're ready to start tracing. In effect controls, you'll see that you have a bunch of different parameters, but the big one to consider first is the brush size. This should have a diameter that's able to show the full width of the area of the text that it's revealing. So kind of like so. Next, you're gonna wanna change the stroke length and the brush spacing. Make the stroke length a large amount, as this is the number of seconds that the stroke will last for before disappearing in the same trail that it started. And for our purposes, we don't want it to trail off at the end, we just want it to continue existing exactly the way that we traced it. So make it a big number, like 25 seconds. 
For the brush spacing, you're gonna wanna make this the lowest possible number to get a solid line, which the lowest number you can key in is 0.001. This will ensure that you don't just get small repeating sections of circle, but instead a continually painted line based on the brush size. Okay, now let's make this effect actually display, so it's literally tracing the outline of your text. You do this by starting with it off of your text and then moving the keyframe of the brush stroke here over time. You don't need to have it do every single frame because when you move forward a few frames and create a new keyframe, it'll count the difference between the keyframes. So I'm gonna go about every three frames. You can also click and drag the brush around itself to make it easier. Move forward a few frames and then drag the brush stroke to the new location. Your goal is to create an outline in the same way that you would actually write the text normally. Move forward a few more frames, move it again, and rinse and repeat the process. And keep in mind that when you make new portions of the stroke, you can actually adjust the path with some of these little handles here without interrupting your keyframing. Cool, so now you should have something that looks like this. It's a really messy drawing of your text. But now let's make the magic happen by going up to our effects panel and searching for the track mat key. Yep, we're using the same effect as before, but in a new way. Drag and drop it onto your text layer and set it to look at the layer that's got the right on scribble effect. And bada bing, bada boom, you've got a drawn on version of your text. Number three, color mats and blend modes. This one is actually far less about the text itself and more about the situation around it. I'm sure you've run into this problem where sometimes text is difficult to read against the background you've got, like here in this example. But the problem is when you try to change the text to a different color to compensate, it starts to look unprofessional. So what's the solution? Change the color of the footage instead. Create a new color mat and choose something that's not too extreme and also lines up with the color palette or mood of your video. For me, a deep blue actually works pretty well. Now place the color mat over top of your footage, but underneath your text. This leaves us with very legible text, but hidden footage. So to fix this, instead of just dropping your opacity of your color mat, highlight this mat layer and go to effect controls and select a new blending mode underneath the opacity section. What this does is shows through the footage underneath, but in a unique way for every different part of the frame, depending on the color and luminance present. Play around to see what you like, but for me personally, I found I really like the effect that comes from the multiply and screen options. Now that you've got this part down, you can animate it in a unique way so that you also prepare your audience to read the text. In effects, go down to linear wipe and place it down onto your mat layer. Start with your wipe completion at 100% and then keyframe it to go down to zero, effectively revealing the color. Finally, add some beziers to the keyframes to make everything feel a little less robotic. Nice, it's looking great, but you can go one step further by copying the same linear wipe effect with its motion keyframes and paste that onto the text layer itself. This will prevent the text from showing up before the color backdrop is actually present and it actually reveals it along with the wipe. Pretty cool, right? Number four, typewriter effect. Now, this one doesn't have to be used to mimic a typewriter. That's just one really obvious example. There's a lot of applications, but the basic principle comes down to having your text set up to look the way that you want, then revealing it in chunks. For the typewriter effect, you could reveal each letter one by one, or you could simply reveal each individual word or phrase to drive home your point. So to set this up, let's simply write out our word or phrase that we want. And because we wanna use this as a typewriter style effect, let's also change the font to something a little bit more old school. Okay, so now let's go to our effects panel, and we're gonna add a linear wipe effect. In effect controls, take this linear wipe and wipe it in the direction that you wanna be revealing from so that it's all invisible. And because most countries read from left to right, you're gonna to wanna to crop from the right-hand side. So set wipe angle to negative 90. Cool, so our text is gone, but now you have two options. You can either use keyframes to reveal the crop or you can use a different method that I personally like a little bit better. Take the text layer and cut it up into literally as many pieces as there are chunks that you want to reveal. So for us, that's 10 letters in the word typewriter, plus one for the portion that's completely cropped out. Now for each of these different sections, you can simply reveal the crop so that it adds a new full letter. Then 
Go to the next one and do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. I like this method better because if you need to line up these portions with pieces of audio or sound effects, it's a lot easier to compare them against the audio waveform when you're changing them in the timeline here, as opposed to the keyframes and effect controls. To make your life super easy, use the rolling edit tool, shortcut key N, to adjust these cuts without disrupting any of the other work that you've done. Cool, now this is what we have. And number five, place your text in your video. This one is really fun, but if you're gonna use Premiere Pro instead of After Effects, you're gonna need the footage that you're working with to be locked off on a tripod. Basically, this is what it comes down to. Mask your text so that it appears as if it's being cut off by something within the frame of the footage. This works best if only a portion of the text is cut off and the whole word or phrase is still able to be read and understood as a whole. And the process is super simple. All you have to do is place down your text into your scene and make sure that it's a little bit over top of the section that you would like it to be cut off by. So for us, that would be this area about here. Then all you have to do is highlight your text layer and select the mask pen so that you can create the shape of the area cutting off your text. If it helps, you can hide the text from showing by going here to this part of your effect controls panel and hitting the eye symbol. Now, simply continue to outline the section of the foreground that you wanna block off your text until you end up with a full mask. But chances are, you're gonna be telling it to include this area, not exclude it. So all you have to do is hit this box to reverse the effect and boom, your text looks like it's in the 3D world of your footage. If it's not looking just the way you want it, play around with the amount of feather as well as the edge details to make it come out just right. And guys, that's just been five text effects that you can use to spice up your next video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with a fellow video editor friend. And if you're looking for even more text effects, this sleek line reveal has a 17 minute tutorial going over how exactly to create it. And I'll make sure to include a link to that video. And as always, if you're looking for just a quick text template to save you time and energy, we have tons of awesome looking options right here at motionarray.com. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.